God, look, I don't know who needs to hear this, but it's okay not to be okay every once in a while. You know, it's okay to be tired. It's okay to be frustrated. It's okay to feel like you're not going anywhere. Like, you know, it's just a feeling. It's just temporary. What it feels like isn't what it actually is. Sometimes it just feels that way because your your mind is putting pieces uh, of the puzzle together that don't belong. You're like, they're forcing two things that don't, don't belong. They're just... It just fits it. And it makes you feel like that. Right now, I'm going through a weird phase. Uh, I feel like a lot of stuff is just piling up on me. It's not. It really isn't. But I have a lot of people depending on me. And sometimes that could be very uh, difficult. Especially because I hate disappointing people. And sometimes if I'm going to move in this direction, it means I'm not going to move in this other direction. And that direction disappoints you. And I hate to disappoint people, but sometimes that's what I have to do if I'm going to be okay in here. I've been having some really freaking weird dreams lately, and I've been writing them in a journal, my digital journal. And I've been having some great ideas to improve uh, these videos without making them too refined and too, you know, too detailed. And so I've been writing those ideas in my digital journal. And I've remembered that also journaling is important. So I've been journaling the last couple of days, and that's helped. But the thing about that is when you start journaling, you start gaining insight into yourself and then you start realizing that there are emotions that you, you push down. There are thoughts that you push down. There are things that bother you that you push down and they start to come up into the surface and they come up for a reason, for a really good reason, actually. They're meant not to stay in you. They're meant to be expressed. They're meant to be uh, worked out and they're meant to be let go, some of them. Not everything needs to be addressed. Not everything needs to be thought out and not everything needs to be let go. But... You know, journaling kind of helps you figure out which things belong where. For example, Erica and I recently watched The, the Joker, the one with uh, uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Amazing film. I love that film. But warning, spoiler alert. So if you haven't seen this yet, skip ahead or watch it and then come back and watch it. But if you don't care, then that's fine. In this film, The Joker, Arthur, he figures out that his upbringing wasn't what he thought it was. His mother painted a different story so he believed that story and now he's an older man i'm not sure how old he is in maybe late 30s or mid 30s and he realizes that his whole background was a lie at this point this character has two options one he says all right fuck it that's my past that's who i was that's not who i am right now and he has a choice to change this future to something positive but instead he does what a lot of us do in scenarios like this. We go into our feeling and we feel everything was a lie. We spiral out and we wonder, who am I then really? And we start questioning everything and we give too much importance to that, but still have a decision to make. And we double down in revenge, in chaos, in violence. I mentioned all that to mention this. Your mental health is important. Do whatever it is that you need to do to be well mentally take a fucking break if you need to take a fucking break if it means that you need to stop and tell people that you can't do certain things for them then then tell them that you can't do those things for them even if their fucking feelings get hurt just tell them that you can't because your mental health is what fucking matters your well-being is what matters no one's gonna look after your well-being better than you are so be sure that you're taking care of yourself that means fucking shaving, taking a shower, going for a fucking walk, feeding yourself well, put away all the junk food, stop drinking soda, drink more water, walk and get your fucking sleep. Just sleep. Do whatever it is that you need to do to take care of yourself. Write, play music, whatever it is, but make sure that it's healthy for you and that it's not a distraction, that it's not sabotaging your life or the life of, of people around you. So still have some courtesy and have some respect but take care of yourself take care of yourself mentally for me going into my art and journaling has been a lifesaver since my days of high anxiety i started journaling i started learning about myself i started learning about life i started learning about my emotions i started learning about my mind and the way that it operates and the way that it works how it maps the world how it makes meaning of the world and then it that helps me you know navigate through a lot of depression and a lot of anxiety so Fuck it, journal, go to the gym, draw, paint, play music, go watch a movie, go treat yourself to dinner, treat yourself to some new shoes, treat yourself to that shirt you've been wanting to buy, get a pedicure, get a massage, get your nails done, get, get a haircut, diet, whatever it is, as long as it's not hurting anybody else, take care of yourself. 
That is my blunt honesty for today. I have 10 minutes before I start working. I'm gonna go walk for a little bit because I need to take care of my mental health and I need you to take care of yours so that when we meet in the street, we're both good. <laughs> All right? All right, take care. Bye.